Well, Merry Almost Christmas. It is time for my super mega ginormous large family Costco haul. Got a whole lot of stuff and Christmas is right around the corner. We've been doing pretty much a pantry challenge the last week. We've cleaned a lot out. It is time to go at this again. We also have a birthday one week before Christmas. So we got the special birthday food. There's also a birthday the week after Christmas, but we'll have to go back for some of those choices. Also, there were some clothing items needed by some of my boys. Now we did a huge, fresh seasonal clothing haul this fall. I never got that filmed, but I got my kids a ton of new clothes at Costco and Walmart, and I think maybe a little bit at Children's Place somewhere. Anyway, I intended to film it. That never happened, but my kids do have new clothes, and some kids had some other things they needed. So stick around, because in addition to the grocery haul, you're gonna also get a household haul, and you're gonna get a large family clothing haul, because we did that too. And I got a new purse. It's the size of a suitcase. I'll show you that coming up. I will tell you my totals as well, and also after Costco, I didn't want to have to go into Walmart as well. But because we have such a long drive home anyway, we were almost home. And I was like, okay, I do need to go into Walmart for a few more things. So I'll tell you my Costco total. My Walmart total was only $62. I got just some plain yogurts and some fruit yogurts there. And I'll point out my Walmart stuff. This is Daniel's birthday cake. So it is a chocolate cake filled with two pounds of chocolate mousse. Can't go wrong there. About $18.99. Their other birthday cakes that they had on hand were like the rainbow and sunshine and da or sunflowers. Daniel wasn't feeling it, but he picked this one. No complaints. Chocolate cake. We'll put the five and a Hot Wheel car on it. He'll be good. Okay, so then we got 10 gallons of milk. We've been out of milk the last few days. I got two things of sour cream, one thing of cottage cheese. There's also two things of Greek yogurt under there. That Greek yogurt was also... Yes, that was from Walmart as well. So then at Costco, we got uh, 15 dozen eggs. I also got just a holiday treat, you know, me and my treats, some peppermint bark. You can see the kids have been enjoying that since we got home. That's actually how I'm getting to film this haul. Hey, Jay Morrell. Hey, we got Talking Hand talking to us already. Why are your kids so quiet? Well, there's the Hoodwink movie going on in the background and some Legos and Peppermint Bark has been dispersed. This is how Mama does YouTube. We also got one pack of this fresh mozzarella snack and cheese. Love that. Also, I think of Baby Bell cheese. Now two boxes of ice cream bars. So Daniel picked out treats for his birthday. I'll be telling you his menu. One thing on his menu for his birthday. Okay, we've already seen chocolate, chocolate cake, and then these ice cream bars. And then we got a second box. This will have just as treats on Christmas Day. And then Daniel picked out some chocolate milk for his birthday meal. Then other end of the spectrum, Mama got some of these egg thins with cauliflower. Twelve thins. It says you can hit if hit hit yeah hit <laughs> hit or heat uh, heat each thin for you got I've got to do packages right for fifteen ten to fifteen seconds or heat each thin for ten seconds on each side in a skillet for it to get crispy. So we'll see. I thought I would try those. I got two things of cream cheese. Did get some different um, different things I needed. I got some black pepper. I also got some thyme. And then in Walmart, I got fresh thyme and sage. Different recipes coming up at Costco. Got a thing of country crop. Got two things at Costco of heavy cream. I got this uh, three containers of the organic raw honey. One bag of these uh, sweet onions. Two pounds, it's 30 pounds total of the russet potatoes. I got, let's see here, two things of grape juice. Now, we only usually drink, yeah, Concord grape juice. You know, there's the uh, Old Wives Tale or internet info that says that whenever you get the stomach bug, it's good to start drinking grape juice. So I wanted to have some on hand, but my kids also like to drink it. So we'll see. We only, we got the stomach bug one time last year during basketball season, and I felt like grape juice was super helpful. But again, my kids might just drink it this next week. Who knows? They're so used to. People ask what our drink choices are. Talking Hand is here again. Usually it's milk or water, heavy on the water. But we do get some other little things to mix in once in a while. Just don't rely heavy on it. 
Got a big thing of vinegar at Costco. I just use that for cleaning. Got another pack of craisins. Benjamin loves craisins. He said, oh, my craisins, and held them in the cart. I got at Walmart for my, again, Walmart was a small part, but it's kind of peppered throughout. Got four bags, uh, they're microwavable, steamable of Brussels sprouts. I like those. At Costco, I got three big bags of broccoli. We love broccoli. I also got some organic butternut squash in steamable bags. And I got some mixed vegetables. I got four pounds of baby carrots. I got two honeydew melons, two cantaloupe, two packs of blueberries, two packs of raspberries. These are already gone. I got three packs, three different kinds of raisins. We've got red seedless. We've got the, I almost said the grape seedless. Yeah, the green seedless. And midnight beauty seedless. Hopefully those are seedless, yes, okay. Got those grapes again. These are already gone. I got another pack of lemons. I got some salmon that you'll see and just other recipes coming up where we'll be using lemons. I got a nice big bag, 10 pound bag of apples. These just look good. We have not done apples lately. Got this bag of clementines and then I got a big box. I think this was a 10 pound box of oranges. I just took the box top off for you all to see. The big stuff is largely towards a once a month or every four to six week haul. We will definitely need more fresh fruits and vegetables than these. We have a little bit on hand already, and I will definitely be going back for more, but this is what, what we got tonight. Also, let me kind of watch. My table is so packed. Daniel's menu for his birthday is pizza, ice cream bars, chocolate milk, chocolate cake. The kid knows what's good. And so, let's see. Down here, he also wanted those little mini pizzas. So we got mini pizzas and we got these little bit bigger thin pack, thin crust pizzas. Got mozzarella sticks because I thought that would be another fun Christmas day treat. Got these mini tacos. The mini tacos is what I think we're gonna have for dinner tonight. So it'll be mini tacos, probably some grapes and carrot sticks, yay, dinner. We had a big lunch at Costco. Uh, but yeah, kids wanna eat again. What is up with that? At Walmart, I got two bags of just some plain and simple cereal. At Costco, I got a big thing of oatmeal, big thing of chocolate milk, and then tis the season. Got a big, look at this, four and a half pound bag semi-sweet chocolate chips and then big box of the triple chocolate brownie mix we have a christmas party this week with friends we have about 15 of the christmas houses we made for homeschool group left just for that party and then we're going to bring some brownies i got um eight pounds of thin spaghetti got a thing of brisk tea again i try to <laughs> plan out my treats so again this is what i was thinking like on christmas day just to have available now these stroop waffles i've never seen these for sale now whenever i fly I've gotten these the last few times and uh, just fun and I know different viewers from the Netherlands have said oh these are from the Netherlands and that they're common there and one of my viewers told me I did not know this this Dutch classic literally means syrup waffle look at this and so people put it on top of their hot drink here let me just read you the directions the best way to enjoy a stroop waffle Simply place the stroop waffle on top of your hot drink for about two minutes. Once the caramel syrup has softened, enjoy. Oh no, caramel may leak from the sides of the cookie. <laughs> we don't mind. So I just thought, how how fun is this? So got it. Also, I got some of this turmeric and ginger herbal tea from Costco. Hope I like it because it's four boxes, but I do enjoy drinking hot tea, and some of my girlfriends like it too. So we'll have some tea. Actually, all the kids drink tea too. We all love hot tea so there's some a new flavor for us then I want to say these were $3.99 I know we have some hummus and some other dips available and then also these pretzel crisps I got six of these big cans of applesauce and then six of my favorite tomato sauce from Costco it's only like $2.99 it's a great deal so I got six of those. I got two cans of whole kernel corn. And then I got, uh, excuse me, I'm grunting as I get this on the counter here. Let's see, I'm trying to see how many pounds this was. Tell me, tell me how many pounds you were. 20 pounds of rice. Now, my kids have been begging for salmon. So, the, uh, several of them have been like, we love salmon, we love when you do salmon. So I got two things of salmon in here. We got some ground beef. 
what do we have here? I'm trying to show you, but yet not unpack at all. What kind of YouTube filmer am I? Um, I got two, four total packs of roast, two more packs of ground beef, and then this is the two packs of pork chops, and then this is a big pork loin. So lots of recipes going down, coming up over here on Large Family Table. Okay, so yes, uh, biggest receipt, biggest receipt award. Okay, so my total was $776.16, $19.45 tax, grand total $797.61, plus I spent $62 at Walmart for food odd, odds and ends that I needed. Not shown on this table. There were some teas Travis wanted, and I'm trying to think what else. I think that's it. So the teas plus the things I showed you at the table is the food items I got at Walmart too. Many of you ask what my grocery budget is, and if you're new here, I end up spending around $1,200 a month or so, $12, $12.50 uh, for food items. I will do another smaller haul. That one will be heavy on more fruits and veggies. Once we get through several things we already have, and then this load I just added in. I didn't get any bananas in this haul, but bananas will be in my fill-in haul. I'm sure I'll get like 40 or 50 pounds of bananas. So let's look at all the other stuff I bought that wasn't food tonight. Over at Walmart, I got this box of baby wipes. At Costco, I got a big thing of toothpaste and some toothbrushes. Zion needed toothpaste and toothbrushes in particular, but we can always take extra. I got pull-ups at Costco. This is a big old box of pull-ups, and I got their diapers. I prefer to buy my diapers and pull-ups at Walmart, but again, it was a little plot twist that I ended up at Walmart anyway. So I got them at Costco for the sake of, oh, I'm at Costco, let's get things while we're here. Big thing of Costco toilet paper. We we were out besides what was on the rolls in the bathroom. Also, for seasonal little runny nose and such, we prefer this brand of Kleenex. It's got the lotion in it and it's they're just they're wonderful, they're wonderful. So these are the household items that I got this evening. I will tell you my Costco total here in a minute, but look, lots of clothes. It's like whoa. What, what, what happened here? So Zion needed a few more just nice long sleeve shirts. Several of the things I got him this fall and some of the sweatshirts I got this fall for Gabriel and Liam. They've just, they've shrunk horribly. I've never, see, talking hand is like passionate about this. I've never had sweatshirts and such shrink as much as these boys shirts have shrunk <laughs> so anyway Zion has some nice dress shirts that he wears often but anyway I could tell I encouraged him he's probably a medium I encouraged him though just go ahead and get a large because of what we have dealt with this fall the first thing he did was he picked out these two nice men's dress shirts and then I said, pick out two more things. You know, not all guys like to pick out clothing for themselves, but he's too old for his mama to pick out his clothing. So I said, pick out two more things. So then he got this nice, nice looking shirt. And then to appease his mama, he just got a sweatshirt. And again, we got it at this size because we're a little twitchy now <laughs> over things shrinking. Now for Gabriel and Liam, they share a wardrobe, meaning everything is hung in the same space, but I still like to get enough thinking. You know, you have two boys, ages almost nine, ten and a half, marching towards 11, wearing things every week. So I got six fresh sweatshirt type things, thinking in my head, three per, per boy. Got that math? Okay. Even though they're pretty much the same size, they're just, they're hard on things and I, I need lots. So we got um, this sweatshirt. And then there's a black camouflage sweatshirt. They're still in 10, 11 for most things this fall slash winter. I thought these were nice. They're not very thick, but they are long sleeve. And I got them a gray and a black. I just see them wearing this a lot, even if they want to wear a t-shirt underneath those. And then these are heavy fleece items and I got them each one of those and then over here so Miss Amelia I thought she could use a few fresh dress dresses and I was thrilled tonight at Costco they had this two pack of dresses and they were like $10.99 hold on let me look at my receipt so I'm not lying to you no I'm so wrong two pack of dresses $4.97 yes all the more reason 
Also, not shown because we've already doled it out. We got a big thing of dog food and cat food at Costco. So those are not on the table, but included on the, with this total. So yeah, my goodness. <laughs> we'll say $5 for two. And these are just cute dresses. She can wear them with leggings to church. So run to Costco and look for that. Then I got her... This is a, uh, it's a vest, and then it had a cute sweatshirt with it. $6.97 for that. So, I mean, for less than a $12 there, Amelia got a few fresh things. Then, okay, mama stuff. So, I got myself some fresh mama pajamas. Look, it almost says mama pajama, right? Two-piece pajama set. Just put the word mama. Then, I got myself two of these. Let's see. Will you open up? Can I show you? They just look like comfortable shirts, and look, it had this little bit of layering. So I got this maroon color. I got a stripey color. Same style. Nothing too fancy other than had that layering there. Then I got myself a pretty sweater. Total for these clothing fill-ins, cat food, dog food, household haul items was, it's a big price, I know, was $401.65 for $21.24. We don't have to get clothes every month, but again, this month this was needed. Then over at Walmart, my zipper on my jacket broke. So got myself a new puffy jacket, yay. Also, because I am me and I love scarves, I got this beautiful yellow scarf. Then, uh, hold on, we'll talk makeup in a minute. 90s girl, boot cut, mm -hmm, some boot cut pants, and then we'll talk makeup and I'll show you my big purse I got. So I don't always wear fake eyelashes, but when I do, this is the pack that I get. It's the Be Natural, and then I have the glue that's black, so it just looks like a line of black eyeliner along the top. Got myself a charcoal pencil as eyeliner. Many of you always ask about my lip glosses, so this is just one I picked up. I like the Burt's Bees brand. Uh, there's just several lip glosses that I like, but this is the Melting Pot from CoverGirl, and it's number 300. It's called Secret. Got myself a new suitcase, which is basically what it is. So my song and dance, I will have little purses, and then I grow to big purses, and then I go to little purses, cycle through. So I was so in love with, look, pockets pockets for days just so many pockets and then when we zip it up like i say great big book bag i've got to watch myself with my neck because i will i'll load it up but i needed one my purse that i bought in uh, end of August. I have loved it and I've busted one side of it. So this is going to be my new winter purse. But wait, there's more. Forgot this. Also got these at Walmart for my boys. Again, Gabriel and Liam got six more. We got long sleeve blue. Another long sleeve blue. A long sleeve black. Just very plain shirts, but these have a nice design. There's a green and then each of them, we've got, these are long sleeve with the hoodie and long sleeve with the hoodie. So that's 12 new shirts total for Gabriel and Liam. Six new shirts per boy is how I was thinking, but of course they share. Thank you for watching my large family grocery haul and some extra clothing haul and winter fill-ins that we needed. I think coming up here in about four to six weeks, I've got several kiddos that are busting out of shoes, so we'll be picking up some new shoes. Christmas is coming up next. Okay, but wait. You are being interrupted by future Jay Morrell. <laughs> oh, yes, you are. I want to tell you, I've just decided to do this, so I've added it into this Costco haul because I have to have a way to communicate with you all quickly. I am going to do the second ever Feeding My Freezer Freezer Cooking Challenge. I was conflicted on when to do this because we have the holidays and, you know, couldn't do it before Christmas, but don't want to do it right after, but I've decided to go ahead and do it right after. So December 30th through January 3rd, we will do the next Feeding My Freezer Freezer Cooking Challenge. Over those five days, we are going to cook something different every day, but just just a, a little small something. It's not gonna be like 40 meals for your freezer. I really try to keep this freezer cooking challenge attainable and something that would benefit everybody
everybody, will help everybody, but it's not too overwhelming. You don't have to do 40 or 50 meals like I would. You can do 10 to 12 meals. That's what you end the freezer cooking challenge with. We're gonna do double dinners. We're gonna do some breakfast, some freezer sandwiches. <sighs> Some slow cooker, some slow cooker instant pot meals. Like I said, at the end of the five days, you will have 10 to 12 things in your freezer. When I did this freezer cooking challenge last fall, there were several other mamas who did some videos and they showed, I know one mama, I think she lived New York City, lived somewhere. She had a small apartment freezer, but she was sharing how she was cleaning out her freezer and getting ready to do this challenge with me. Lots of moms used the hashtag feeding my freezer over on Instagram. It was a whole lot of fun. So you could go through and see how the last challenge went. I want to do it again to help you get your freezer stocked up because hello, yes, J. Morrell, it's about to be 2020. We need all the help we could get to get this new year started right and having 12 things in the freezer will help me and it'll certainly help you. So let's do this again. All you have to do is click the first link in the description below to sign up for the Feeding My Freezer Freezer Cooking Challenge. I will send you right back out the Freezer Cooking Quick Start Guide that has the free grocery shopping list, the recipes that we're doing, and the plan for each and every day. So you can do this. And I will be doing this and leading this as well. I will be sharing about it over on Instagram. I will have probably a live video or so coming up over here on YouTube. Lots of fun things coming up while I do the freezer cooking challenge. So sign up and do it with me. Now back to the Costco haul. So I will talk with you in those comments below. Thank you for watching. Yes and amen. Goodbye.